Hi, and welcome back. As I mentioned in my last video, I wanted to build a dipole antenna for my CB, and my parts came in today from Amazon. I ordered 10 feet of red and black 12 gauge wire for the antenna. I have my SO239 plate I'm gonna mount. And I'm trying to do this with existing parts I have at home with COVID. I don't go out shopping, I try to avoid that. So I was looking around the house and I found this old plate and I thought this might work. So we're gonna try this little plate here. I drilled a 5 8 inch hole. I'm going to amount, I'm going to mount the S239 plate here. And I'm gonna drill some little holes here and secure it on the plate. So let's do that. I have my helper over here. He's not helping very much today. Um, he's just been sleeping here. I guess he's had a had a tough day today. So let's line it up here, mark where we're gonna drill our holes. Let's mark them a little better here. And let's drill the holes. All right, we're gonna drill our plate out. I had to drill the holes in the SO239 a little wider so my uh, nuts and bolts would fit. So let's go ahead and let's drill our holes here. Get them started here. Boy, whatever this material is on this plate is really tough to drill through. So I'm going to go take it in the other room and drill it, and I'll be right back. Alrighty then, we have the holes drilled, and we're going to mount the SO239 plate onto our plate here. So let's get the screws started here. And hopefully the plate, the SO239 will fit right over these bolts here if I drill them correctly. And we'll see how we did here. All right. And let's drop the plate on here. And here we go. Looks like a match. Let's screw it on. Okay, that looks good. And the bolt heads stick out a little, so let's make sure our coax can fit on here all the way. Perfect. All right, so we're gonna run, run our antenna wires through these holes and solder them to the connection here. All right, I think what I'm going to do here, instead of solder this, I might drop some, drip some solder over it. On this one, I put a wash, I have a washer, and I think I might just tighten, tighten the nut over this. 
And I think that'll be a pretty good connection. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, before I solder the wire in, I think I might mount this to the 2x4 to hold it secure. Oh. I think I woke up the dog. All right, I'll have to admit, this is my first time ever soldering. So from what I've read, I have some paste that I'm gonna put on here. I hear you do that to make the solder stick. I've been heating up the solder iron. Okay, let's get some paste on here. All right. And hopefully this is hot enough. Give a little test here. Okay, looks like we're about there. So let's line this, line this up in here. And let's burn ourselves. Makes for good video. All right, let's see if we can do this. sure if that's sticking it looks pretty good let's get a little over here Let it cool off. I think that looks pretty good. Let's unplug it. Only one slight second degree burn on my first attempt. That's not bad. So let's let this cool off and then let's run the wire and trim it. Okay, I've mounted it outside my workroom. I have it run up alongside the roof line here. And let's go check the SSW. All right, we're back at the base station here. We have it on channel one. And we're right around 2.4. All right, let's go to channel 40. And we're right around 3.1. So that means we're going to have to shorten the antenna. So we're going to go flip a little bit off of each end and I'll be right back. All right, let's try again. We clipped off maybe an eighth of an inch. So let's start on channel one.
a little over two. And let's do channel 40. Looks right around three. All right, this should be perfect. So let's give it a check. And we're on channel one. Let's set it here. Sweet, barely moving. Okay, let's go to channel 40. Point two, perfect. Here's a spreadsheet of my SSW as I, as I was trimming the radio. You can see on channel one, I started at 2.1 and ended up pretty close to zero. And on channel 40, it started at three and I got it down to around one. Turned out much better than I thought it would. I did try to reach out and get a radio check, and I did. The guy wasn't too friendly, just said, I hear you. Uh, wouldn't reply how far away he was, so I'll try again tomorrow. I might even take a couple of my handhelds and see how far out I can hear. So thanks for watching, and please leave comments.